What up, Wolfpack? It's your boy Amari, back again with another reaction video. Today, we're getting into another Mamamoo music video song. Uh, this one's going to be egotistic, as you can see from the title down below. I've had this song requested to me a lot, but I don't know anything about this song, so I'm excited to get into it. The stuff that I've heard from Mamamoo has been very impressive. I've reacted to Kwasa's solo debut, Maria. I've, watched, I've reacted to Go Go Bebe and Hip, and all of those were great. I also did a guide from them as well and heard like snippets of different little songs. So I don't want to say I'm a fan of them because I just don't know that much about them, but I'm a fan of the stuff that I've heard from them, which is why I'm doing more stuff from them. Hopefully you guys are excited for me to be reacting to more Mamamoo content. If you guys have any other recommendations of stuff for me to react to from them, definitely make sure to drop that in the comment section down below and make sure to subscribe if you're new here. I release content every single Wednesday and Saturday on YouTube and every single Monday on Patreon. So lots of videos coming out. You don't want to miss those. Definitely subscribe down below. Without further ado, we're going to get into this video and I will see you guys on the other side. Okay. Oh, whoa, oh, oh. whoa. We need to go back. I was, uh, whoa, <laughs> whoa. Okay, um, that was fire. Like, I, I was not expecting that at all. But the intro solo, which is not a common thing at all, so that's a already an interesting creative choice. But the intro solo using the Spanish classical guitar was fire, and it paired so well with this, uh, sounds like a loop of some kind that they have which is also played on the Spanish classical guitar and it's it's just it's 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 a vibe like it's it's so it's so good i can't off the top of my head think of where i've heard latin influences from them before i think in in Quasar's maria song i'm pretty sure there's latin influences in that as well so maybe that's where i'm coming from but this doesn't seem like way out of the, the realm of possibility, I guess, for their sound to be doing some Latin-inspired production. But yeah, very, very interesting, very good. <laughs> Okay, um, that, like, crescent with the M in it, that, that's not their logo, though. Their logo is like some, like, sideways infinity thing, right? Anyway, that has popped up already a couple times in this video, because it was, like, in the eye, somebody's eye in the beginning, and then necklace and then i couldn't see it happen too fast who was on the crescent moon but it was kind of like the is that dreamworks one of the, one of the animation studios has the the guy fishing off the the crescent moon that's gonna bother me I, let's just go with dreamworks but if i'm wrong i'm sure you guys will well actually me in the comment section so yeah really cool i clearly like red moon depictions so i think it's fire <laughs> Okay, yeah, this is this is really cool. Their combination of that obviously acoustic main production element of that classical guitar with those synths that they paired around it 
in that pre-course leading up to this, there was a synth chord progression that led you into this. And percussively, it's very interesting paired with this because in the verse, they had snaps, which already is like a very stylistic choice for a percussive instrument, say like over something more standard like a snare. But then in this, uh, they had some type of like drum fill and then went into this chorus and the, I'm, I'm assuming it's the chorus, all of the production kicked in. <laughs> and that's interesting as well because that's also not like a snare or a clap or a snare clap combo or you know some type of snare sub snare. There's, there's a lot of different things you can do with percussive elements in the 21st century, but they went with like, again, an acoustic percussive element. It's some type of hand drum, whether it be congas or bongos or I don't know. There, there's another Indian one that I'm... Tim, timbalas? Tim, something. You get the point. There's it's drums that you play with your hands. Sometimes there's two of them. Sometimes there's three of them. Sometimes there's five of them. You know, you get the point. But that's very interesting because that's, again, not something that's done very often but fits so well with this whole vibe. Bongos in particular are from um, Africa. They, they have an African origin and they're used a lot in music that is derived from people with African heritage like Cubans. And then when I start thinking that and I see the old timey car, it's kind of giving me like a very Cubana type vibe and I I dig it. I don't know nearly as much about the world as I would like to. I went to American public school for a large percentage of my life. So I'm not even gonna try to act like I'm cultured or nearly as cultured as some of you guys are. So if this is not of a Cuban influence, please let me know. But that is just the vibe that I'm getting from this so far. And to see a bunch of very pretty Korean girls do a Latin, we'll just stay, stick with that. A very Latin inspired song is so cool to me. Like my brain is just very fascinated by all of this. The outfits, the settings, the car, the sound. It's just a, a really interesting stylistic choice and I dig it. <laughs> One second. Huh. No, that's a whole different... I was trying to see if they, if they took the hand drums in the chorus section and just accentuated them more by removing other um, elements of the production, like the vocal harmonies and less sense and everything like that. But I think that's a whole different set of hand drums. So that's interesting as well. But again, a whole nother vibe. They cut out all the instrumentation uh, minus like some backing pad. And they had Kwasa uh, sing that section, which led us into this next verse. And then more percussion and more instruments in this second verse, but still not nearly as beefy as that chorus section. Oh, man, I really don't. Okay, I'm going to go back so I can hear it rap all the way through. I don't want to pause in between that, but I really want to get this out before I forget. Okay, I'm going to touch on a concept that I read in a music journal, like an article from Music Journal a couple years back. So if I'm like fuzzy on some of the terms, maybe some of my other musically inclined people in the comment section can fill in some of the gaps. But basically the article was about how music is influ like the, the sound of music is influenced by language and linguistics. And one of the things that it touched on was the fact that reggaeton percussion, which is that dum, 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 which you can hear a lot during 
this song, but very clearly at the very beginning of Moon Buell's that's how you pronounce it, right? Moon Buell's um, rap section here, that that is in a way inspired by the way in which Spanish speakers, like native Spanish speakers speak Spanish and the inflections in their tones and things of that nature. Super interesting. If you're interested in that concept, please go do more research on it. It's so cool. And I'm not gonna do it justice in this video. But while hearing that and then hearing her rap over it in Korean, it dawned on me that this is the first time I've ever heard, um, I don't know what they're called, I'm not a linguistics major, so whatever the the language family group for East Asian languages is called, like Latin languages are called the Romance languages, and I think English is like a part of the Germanic languages, you know, there's different groups, like family groupings of languages, whatever that is for, you know, Japanese, Chinese, Korean, what whatever languages fall in that, that category, I've never heard personally someone speaking or singing or rapping in one of those languages over this instrumentation style and this percussion style. I've heard Spanish, duh, and I've heard English even, but I've never heard this. And that's such a, that's so cool to me. Like my music nerd brain is kind of like geeking out right now. Cause I just, that's, that's so different. And I appreciate them being different, not doing like the super, super standard kind of stuff that a lot of other artists are doing or have done because that's boring. Like, yeah, it it's going to make sure that you're successful. I don't know how big this song was, but doing like the standard basic stuff is going to be, is gonna have some modicum of success because the reason everybody does it is because it works, but doing something different is also really cool and should be applauded. And so I'm taking this time to basically applaud them for that. I just remembered the, the pole dancing section from the Mamamoo guide that I reacted to. I think that's Solar. It's fire. This video is so like beautiful. The vivid colorings, the outfits, like the, the set pieces and the set choices. That Jaguar was like super cool. Just a slight nod to like the Latin influence of all of this because as anyone who loves animals nearly as much as I do, or you don't even have to love animals that much, just know anything about big cats, know that the Jaguar is the big cat of South America and it is the king of the, like the actual king of the jungle. Lions live in savannas, tigers live in forests. The actual king of the jungle is jaguars. And so that's super cool. Like just, it probably wasn't there in person with like staring her in the face like that. I don't know if it was CGI'd in or, you know, they could have brought it on set from like a zookeeper or whatever, but I doubt it was like a pause swipe away from her face. But regardless, it's still like so many small parts of this video are driving home the theme of the the song the theme of the the song how do i word that basically the all of this wraps in well with the theme and i think that that's really cool so whoever directed this video or came up with these creative ideas i don't know if it was the girls their management label some other director person i i don't know but whoever did it they did a great job because this video is fire By the way, yes, now that I'm seeing it, 
for the second time. That is 100% a Jaguar and not a Leopard. They don't actually look the same if you know what they look like, just because they both have spots. That looks sick. Is that the same image from earlier? That looks from here like it's Moon Bu, which, I mean, have the girl with moon in her name literally sit on a moon makes sense. But that is so fire. That has to be a poster or a photo card or something because that is the fire imagery. But real quick, let's see. Ah, same picture. I totally called it. Okay, I got my question answered of who it was from earlier. Okay, another Mamamoo song that I really like and another video that's like super, so creative. Their videos are so cool. From the songs that I've heard from them, it's very interesting that they're all really dancey, but they're not all happy songs in that the lyrics and the message of the song may not necessarily be happy, but they do this thing where they pair somewhat, let's say not great lyrics, so say like, in Quasas Maria or this song, they're both talking about topics that aren't necessarily good, like being attacked online isn't good, and being with a narcissist, someone who like is super selfish and doesn't care about you, is not good. But both of the songs are like so dancey, you know, I was just vibing throughout the song. And so I think that's really cool. I like when artists do that. The Weeknd is like another artist. He's really the, the go-to artist that I think of when I think of concepts like that, where the, the vibe of the song will be really like up-tempo and dancey, but the lyrics will be dark or morbid or edgy. Can't Feel My Face is literally a song about doing coke and being like way too high, but it winning Teen Choice Award records because it's all dancey and happy feeling. And yeah, it's so cool. It, I just like the dichotomy uh, and the artistry that goes into songs like that. So um, shout out to them for that. I've already heaped a bunch of praise on this song, so you probably know that I enjoyed this song and I enjoyed this video but tell me what you thought about the song down in the comment section down below like I said if you have any more recommendations for my Mamamoo songs or other songs for me to do leave them in the comment section down below and I will add them to my list my list is very long so just bear with me but I will add them to my list if I said anything that you disagree with or that you want to expound upon in my little mini rants throughout the video again drop down in the comment section down below and I will be seeing all of you guys here on the channel next time in that case Saturday so you guys have a great day and I'll see you later Peace.